I'm gonna fire all everyone that makes a mock draft. CBS, fucking all those idiots. I'm gonna tell you why. It's not why you think. It okay, is. okay. But I do think Drake May isn't that good. But that's not why. These guys, they keep talking about that Caleb Williams is the number one pick no matter what. If you're the Bears and you draft that guy, you're stupid. If you're Arizona and you draft him, you're stupid. Why? Because Justin Fields is better than Caleb Williams. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, first, of all, first of all, I agree with you. That's a fact. If I'm, no, hold on, hold on. I agree with you that I would not, if I'm the Bears, I'm sticking to Justin Fields. But Caleb Williams is accurate as F and throws better on the run than Justin Fields. Yeah, he's such a winner too, right? That part? Uh huh. Dude, I, he can't beat I, college teams. And yeah, I got to believe he's going to beat NFL dudes. I would not draft him first. So, no. So go on with your firing. So, and if you're Arizona, you're going to pick. You watched Kyler Murray since he came back from injury the last two weeks, right? That's that's Jacob's boy. How good has he looked in the first two games? He looked, looked phenomenal. Great. He looks like the Kyler Murray of old. Not very good, but can you know, you, good enough. Can you pronounce his <laughs> name correctly, please? What? Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray. I think he's looked good. And to me... You'd be wasting it. You've already you've already paid right. You, you've paid Kyler Murray. So I, I and then the Bears, bro. Justin Fields. If you watch the last three games that he's played, he's played very good. He should have won that game against the Lions. Yeah. That wasn't his fault. So and he's he had won the previous two games. I think he started before that, and he threw eight touchdowns the previous two games before he got hurt. And you're just gonna move on from him like oh fuck it. I wouldn't, bro. They have no offensive mm-hmm. line. Their yeah. offensive line's terrible. No, well, no, DJ Moore. The running that's backs it. are okay. DJ Moore. That's the it. tight end isn't bad either. Komet. Komet. He's not bad. Sounds like an L.A. fucking hard rock radio station. Komet is not bad. K-M-E-T. But he needs an offensive line. K-M-E-T. Classic rock. <laughs> Bringing your hits. He need, I think he needs an offensive 90s. line. I think he needs an offensive lineman. At least one. And if you have two picks in the first whatever, five or six, you got to get one and then get a defensive player. Bro, he's not... For you to bring in Caleb and just give up on Fields after three years would be ridiculous. It really would. I, I agree. And so you, that is a great point. That is a great point. And it's every fucking day. You're right. Every mock draft. Did you hear oh, the, he's number one. Did he's you hear number one. The rumor that uh, Fields was uh, being shopped to the Raiders. Like, uh, oh, the Raiders would be ecstatic to have him. Oh, yeah. Can you imagine him? That'd be you, great. Still, you, you had one offensive lineman in Fields, and they might score more than 20 points. For Listen. sure, they score more than 20 points. If you're talking about strictly talent, Caleb Williams is a generational talent. He, to me, he has the arm strength of, uh, he's he's a more, have you ever seen anyone with better pocket aware, awareness than than Caleb, other than maybe Kyler Murray or, or, or Patrick Mahomes? His pocket uh, escapability and awareness is, is crazy, and I think that's what's so attractive because it negates a great pass rushers. You know what? He has all that great escapability and all that until he plays the until he actually plays real talent. Because when he was spinning around back there against Notre Dame, guess who he spun into? The fucking defense attack. Yeah, he couldn't do it against Utah either. I agree. So he, I don't think for me, he wasn't. I don't think he's as good as. He's great against San Jose State and fucking Cal. He's phenomenal. When he's played the other teams, he hasn't looked good. He hasn't looked good against any game against Utah. He got looked terrible against Notre Dame. Like, he hasn't looked great. If the NFL can scheme Michael Vick, they're going to scheme the shit out of Caleb, Caleb Williams, and I will double stamp and certify your fucking firing for that. I agree with you. 10,000%. I appreciate it, sir. Thank you. Although I was some try, how, trying to argue with you. Yeah, well, because you <laughs> thought I was going to bring up Drake May. No, 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 no. I, I I agree with you, man. Everyone has him going first. It doesn't make any sense, so that's it. He might be the first quarterback off the board. That's fine. Fine and dandy. It t- if you're the Bears and that's, and you're picking first, I don't know who's picking first at this point. Yeah. Is it still the, if it's still the Bears or not. But I don't think, I don't think that's uh I don't think that's who they should pick at all, but we'll see. They should just go in and get Marvin Harrison Jr. with the number one pick. Facts. Hunt, just get an, Facts. get another re- receiver, and then with the next pick, you either go pass rusher or O-line. You need an offensive lineman. You need an offensive lineman. If you're lineman. worried about the quarterback, you need an offensive lineman. That's 100%. There is no yeah. 
there's there's no two way about it. You need an offensive lineman, whether he's at, at whether you're picking at two, seven, eight, wherever you're picking, you need an offensive I have, lineman. In I that haven't person. broke down the offensive lineman uh, draft, which I will because that's how nerdy I am. But yeah, you can get offensive linemen all the way up to the seventh round, and and you need to build. An but offensive they need line. they need they need one bat. Both they show. need two guys, maybe. 